To get the starting code for our project, we'll head to github.com slash readbarger slash react dash shopper. And we'll hit the code button to either git clone or download this as a zip file. To clone it, we can hit the clipboard icon and go to our terminal. And from there, go into the directory that we want to create our project in and then run git clone and paste in our link. And once our project folder has been created with all of its files, we can just drag it into our code editor. From there, we need to install all of our dependencies both for our server code and our client code. So we'll open up our terminal within VS Code and run npm i in the root of our project for our server dependencies, and then open up a new terminal tab and cd into the client to install all of the dependencies for our React app. Then, once we see that all of our dependencies are installed, we can head back to the terminal in the root of our project and run our application. We take a look at the server package.json file. We can run our application using this dev script that runs both a server and a client script at the same time. So it's going to use the package concurrently to run both our Node API as well as our React client at the same time. So that means we can just run npm run dev, and our Node API is going to start up on port 3001, and then our script is going to go into the client folder and start up our React app on localhost 3000. And once that's done, you should see your React app open up in a new browser tab on localhost 3000.